which is a Talon Trot, and after this we'll be using this move all the time to move around faster. I mean, this is a really simple world, like incredibly simple. I mean, by comparison, it probably maybe takes around half an hour to beat, to totally beat the first world of Banjo Tooie. So hopefully, you shouldn't need to walk through on this world, but it's just fun to play through it. We can get all five Mumbo tokens in this world. So, I'm just following the path I saw in a YouTube video where this level's beaten about six minutes, which is just ridiculous. We'll see how well I can stack up. I can see these notes. Did I miss any? Nope, I got them all, except for that one. And in this game, the notes are individual, not in bunches of fives. So. We need to, ha we need to, ha we need to stand on these panels and have them throw the oranges where we're standing. And then we win the, jig the Jiggy. Then we take his orange. We go to this monkey. <laughs> the orange can talk, apparently. But in Banjo Kazooie, everything can talk. I think that monkey sound effect is the same sound effect they use in Donkey Kong 64. Which I. Donkey Kong 64 is fun, but it's too big for me. And Banjo Tooie is as complex as I like it to get. Because there were like a bunch of worlds in Donkey Kong 64, and there was like five people you had to use to get everything. And 201 bananas, I think, and I just cannot deal with that. And I played through it for a while, but my interest started going away around world 5, I think. The Crystal Caves. Now you learn egg shooting. And then, because we can like shoot out the eggs from her ass in this game. Well, in the second game, but you're probably not really going to do that in Banjo Tooie. I don't think you ever shoot the eggs out from behind a Banjo Tooie. There's nothing that really needs it, but in this game, you need to do it for some things. Or maybe you don't need to, it's just I always thought you needed to. So we beat him, and we're just racking up the jiggies in this world. So you gotta pick up the two jiggies. So since we used up our one jiggy getting into this world, I think it'll currently display... No, when we get when we get the Jiggy, it shows us how many we have for that world, not how many total. So we have four Jiggies in this world. I need to pop in here. And get the Mumbo token. Damn it! You. Just like in Banjo Tooie, not really any combat. What's the one you want to initiate? And then we also need to get a, jig a Jinjo and a Jiggy. There's our Jinjo. Oh, 
another jiggy is these totem poles. But up here we have a honeycomb piece. And I did not mean to zoom in there. We're not going to pick those up right now because if we pick them, if we pick them up as an ant or as a termite, we we can skip the animation sequence. So now we're at five. Got a couple of notes we can pick up in Mumbo's house. Mumbo looks a lot different in this game. Looks more robotic. And I don't think I look that. I like that look as much. I don't like the look as much. Yeah, so if you're finding this video from my... If you've liked my Vandro 2 videos and you're watching this, thanks for watching. Hope you like this playthrough as much as you like my other ones. Of course, I still gotta build up. I'm trying to think, did I miss one? No, okay, I'm doing fine. So now as a termite we can climb these really steep walls that we couldn't climb with Kazooie, even with the Talon Trot. And the other termites will attack you for some reason. Only well, we have two more G's to go now, and you'll get you'll get those really fast. And the tower can climb up this hill too. Can't move quite as fast, but that's all right. Any more notes we're missing? Dumb camera. Nope, I think the rest of the notes are up there, where we need them. We're gonna get the second honeycomb piece. And we are just about done with the first world. And that big... Ow! You can't, you can't kill the bull. Ah, uh, okay. Hopefully I'll be able to jump and get that Jinjo. Ah! Uh, damn it. There we go. So now you got all ten jiggies. Probably making that jump as a termite is one of the is the toughest thing to do. And we just missed that jump. So that'll take that'll knock me down a couple ranks on the completion leaderboard. Yeah, but there we go. We are done with Mumbo's Mountain. We got all the jiggies, all the notes, and all the honeycombs. It's probably the, one of the shortest world in video game history. And we should also go get this jiggy up here. And alright, I think I'm gonna stop there. And let's just check out my time here. Ten minutes, not as good as, as I was hoping for. But I guess it'd be tough to do six. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.